Hello, Brandon here. A lot of people ask me how to install LCPDFR, so this video is going to show you. First, you're going to open up Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer if you actually use Internet Explorer still. Um, and you're going to go to www.lcpdfr.com. I happen to already uh, be there. Now, the first thing you're going to do is when, once you get to this site, you are going to hover over Downloads and you are going to select G17 Media, which is under the top, Modders. Now, uh, if you don't see that there, you can most likely just click Downloads and under Highest Rated, it will be right there, or under Top Downloads, it will be right there. Now, you're wanting the LCPD First Response 0.95 RC2 R2 because that currently is the newest version. So you're going to hit download, and then once this downloads, we are going to agree. Blah 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 blah. Um, sorry. Blah 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 blah. Okay, and then you're going to enter this thingy, which I'm probably going to get wrong because I'm horrible at entering these. Oh my gosh, I'm sucky. Watch me get that wrong. Come on. Play. Okay, thank you. Now it is going to install right there. Um, and any any minute now? Okay, thank you. Th I, no, still not? No, still what? Okay, there we go. It's going to pop up. Now, um, you need some type of uh, uh, compressor opener. I happen to use WinRAR. Uh, you can also use 7-Zip. But if you, if you don't use Google Chrome, it's not going to pop up down here if you use... Uh, whatever. Okay, yeah, I'm going to show you how to get to that if it doesn't pop up. You go to your downloads folder, and if you're, if you're using a Mac, I don't freaking know, um, and then you're going to find the 095RC2R2. You're going to double-click that. It's going to ask you if you want to run it, blah, 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 blah. You hit yes. It's going to come up with this screen. You hit yes, I want to run as administrator. Welcome to the G17 Media Setup Wizard. The Setup Wizard will install the fucking shit. Awesome. Okay, system compatibility. You need the .NET Framework 4 full profile. Uh, if you need a link to that, if it if it has an X or something, I will give a link to that. If you need the Visual C++, I will give a link to that. If you need a legitimate copy of Grand Theft Auto IV, well, I won't give you that because I'll have to pay for it. Um, but anyways, um, and then games for Windows Live redistributed. Blah, 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 three. You I, you need that. I actually didn't have that earlier, so I had to go and download it. So if you need links for any of these things, go and uh, look in the description and find them. Okay, now you're going to hit next. If everything is there, you're going to hit next. And uh, it, it should automatically find it, but if it happens to not find it, you're going to hit browse, uh, computer, local disk, program files, times 86, or if you don't have a 64-bit computer, I assume it'd be under this, but, uh, yeah. Or maybe I got that completely backwards, but whatever, do what I'm doing. <laughs> Hit, uh, Program Files times 86, you are going to go and find where it says Grand, uh, Rockstar Games, and then under Rockstar Games, you are going to hit Grand Theft Auto, okay. Now, that's if you have the actual legitimate CD copy. If you have the downloaded copy off of Steam, which I don't have installed, but I'll still show you how to do it, you go to Computer, you go to Program Files, and you look for Steam, I believe. Now, watch it not be here, and then I will be like, oh shit, okay, here's Steam. And then under Steam, you... Please be right, oh my gosh, I'm guessing. You're gonna go under Steam Apps and Common. Yeah, I actually did that right. You're going to go under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and as you can see, it would be right here. It'd say Grand Theft Auto IV. You would select that. Let's just say this is it. You'd select that, and you'd hit OK, and then you hit Next. But I don't want that, so I'm going to go ahead and select the one I want, which is that one. OK. And now once it, gives it, once it puts it in the right directory, you are going to hit Next, and... Um, Let's see, you're going to leave everything checked except what it tells you not to select, which is the uh, X Live List ASI Loader, which is a piece of shit because I once upon a time clicked that just to see what would happen. Okay, so the next menu after you hit next um, is the Configure LCPD First Response. Now, the Hardcore Mode. Hardcore Mode makes LCPDFR gameplay exceedingly difficult and has been known to challenge the developers and me because uh, I always get killed uh, really fast. Enable at your own peril. 
Perel, or what, how the fuck you say that? And if anybody posts in the goddamn comments about how I'm saying any shit wrong, fuck you. Okay, now that I got that out of the way. Um, I would enable this, it gives you a more realistic experience. Uh, this is the callouts. Uh, for some people, they're annoying as hell. Um, you can disable them in game by hitting F8, but Fraps also has the F8 button, which I never mind. I'll okay, I'll shut up. Uh, you can disable this by selecting that, but I'm not going to because I like the callouts. Then you are going to hit next, and you can enter your username. Um, I happen to have an account, but I don't feel like doing it. Um, you will pop up on the leaderboards and stuff if you enter your username and password. Actually, does it show? Okay, never mind. Um, n hit next. What well, you can hit next whether you have an account or not. So I'm gonna hit next because I don't feel like doing it. And this is the final screen, and you are going to hit next. And it says, um, if you happen to already have this installed or an, or an older version, which I actually have, you are going to hit yes because I absolute I absolutely do know what I'm doing. I don't. Uh, yes. Okay, now it's done, you're gonna hit next, and finish, and there you go, you now have it installed. Now let's go make sure it is actually installed. Um, program files, Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto IV, and then you're going to look under your screen, you don't have to do this, you can just launch the game, and here it is. Now I believe if you go under here, you can change all the settings and stuff, like, um... Like the callouts, you can change the hardcore mode, so if you don't set all this up in the menu, you can just change it in here. But yeah, that is actually how you install it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need help with anything else related to this matter, just leave a comment below and I will do it. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you're confused after this, ex if you're confused, uh, sorry. Anyways, bye. Okay.